Today I've got a nice number puzzle type problem that comes from a Canadian Junior Math Olympiad. So let's see our goal. We want to find a three digit number with digits A, B, and C. And so generally when we talk about n digit numbers, we write the digits like A, B, C and put a line over it. So that that means that A, B, and C can only really be between zero and nine. Okay, so our three digit number must satisfy the following equation. 49A plus 7B plus C equals 286. And I wanna mention that I think there's a really quick solution to this that comes from viewing this in base 10 and base seven, given the fact that 49 is seven squared and one is seven to the zero. But we're gonna do a bit of a more straightforward algebraic manipulation, just because that's the way that came to me first. Okay, so let's maybe get to it. I'll take this equation and then solve it for 49a. That means we can write 49a as 286, minus 7b minus c. But now we can use this expression to generate an inequality for 49a. So I'm just gonna rewrite this as 49a is less than or equal to 286 minus 7b minus c, where we evaluate this at b equals c equals zero. So that'll most definitely generate something that is bigger than or equal to. Notice that gives us 286. Furthermore, 49a is going to be greater than or equal to 286 minus 7b minus c, where we evaluate this at b equals c equals nine. So that means we've got 286 minus 63 minus nine. So we can write that here, minus 63 minus nine. But that's an easy evaluation. That gives us the number 214. So that tells us in the end, that 214 is less than or equal to 49a, which is less than or equal to 286. Now we can check three things. First off, 49 times four is equal to 196. But notice that 196 is less than 214, so this is not possible. In other words, a cannot be equal to four. Now let's look at 49 times six. And in this case, we're gonna get 294. And again, 294 is too big. It is bigger than 286. So that means we get an impossibility there as well. So if A cannot be four because it's too small and A cannot be six because it's too large, that means that A has to be equal to five. And then putting that into 49A, we get 245, which is actually gonna be useful. So now let's plug this value, this 49A equals 245 into the original and see what that gives us. So putting that over here, we have 7B plus C is equal to 286 minus 245. And that's just from moving the 245 over or the 49 over. But let's notice that that is equal to 41 just by simple subtraction. Now we can play this same game again. We've got 7B is equal to 41 minus C. But let's notice that that is going to be bigger than or equal to 41 minus nine, which is 32, and less than or equal to 41 minus zero, which is 41. But that means we need a multiple of seven between 32 and 41. There's only one of those, and that occurs when B is equal to five. So we've got A is equal to five and B is equal to five. And now we can run this value B equal five back up here, and we'll see that C must be equal to six. So that tells us our three digit number is the number 556. And that's a good place to stop.